Hi guys, and uh, welcome to Why the Frack Do They Matter. This is uh, <laughs> Lucio and Banana Face. <laughs> or George. Whatever. Dick. Thank you guys for listening. Just a quick producer note before we get started. Please excuse the audio recordings. We did not have all the equipment we needed when we did these first few episodes. Thanks for listening. Welcome to our world. Enjoy. Enjoy. I'm George. I'm Lucio. And this is a podcast that About we're not stuff sure. and things. Yeah, things we like because we're BFFs forever. Look, and I, I have papers. I look fancy. Oh, I should give you my phone so we can ask questions. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, we're going to do a podcast together. Right? Yeah. That's that's why we're here. Okay. Well. For stuff and things and questiony dues. You know what I really miss? What? Hastings. You know what? Yeah. What was this one? Other one? Hastings and... Oh, uh, play and trade. Smart. Oh, yeah. Trade that smart. One. I do miss Apparently, it. no, I already told you that story. I am fucking old, bitch. I will tell you the same story three times. <laughs> it's okay. My husband does the same thing, so it's all right. Okay. Unlock. But anyway, tell the story because our, our listeners have never heard it. What story? I told you the same story. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so apparently, there's still a trade smart up in Farming Roswell 10. Really? Yeah, um, John's parents, John's my boyfriend, um, John's parents live out there, and uh, they had the their grandchildren, and apparently they took the younger one, oh, I don't know if I should say names. They don't have to we'll edit names. that out. Yeah. Uh, they took the younger one to uh, Trade Smart, and I guess there was like a whole bunch of Power Ranger stuff, and that's his favorite thing. Mine too. Well, isn't that a fucking fancy vagina? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Here's my phone with the questions, but it's going to lock up. Penis. <laughs> I felt that's needed now. <laughs> All right, so... What are we doing? We're, we're asking questions today to kind of introduce ourselves and get, to, you know, kind of know who we are, kind of get our... Oh, I hope my phone's still recording. No, me too. We'll find um, out. I guess so. Hold on. Unlock Look, we'll it. just do this. We're oh, poor. We're using gonna, our phones. It's going to get that. It's going to get all of that. Yay. Clicky, clicky. Oh, look. It's still recording. It's still recording. I don't know how to turn off my screensaver. doesn't matter. My Anyways, name. it's fine. <coughs> You're done clearing your throat? Yeah. Get that cunt out there? Yeah, well. So we're also kind of offensive, and there will be no no censoring. So. Oh, man. They'll yeah. figure that out as we go, all though. All right, all right, all right. It'll all right. be a surprise. Yay. They'll be so surprised. They'll, they'll hear, like, fuck, and they'll be like, this is not for me. I like that word, but I like to replace the, the F word with another word. I well, like the C word you better. know what? Since we're talking about offensive words, let's just go with that one. Okay. Uh, so, first question. So, <laughs> what's the most imaginative insult? Let me try that again. All what's right. the most imaginative insult you can come up with? So, okay. So, one I've been saying for years now is that you are a uh, product of a bottle of tequila and a pack of defective condoms. See, I still like that. No it's, matter how many times you say it. Because it's true, and it's so much fun. And it, and, it, and it pays her, it pays respect to my Hispanic heritage. Aww. Except we don't believe in condoms. Yeah, Catholics. Just Hispanics in general. I don't think, yeah, we'll go we'll do that in general. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just say in general. Uh, mine is, you fucking cord plugger. <laughs> it, That's it, gonna it, make me laugh. I know, and it's because you don't know if it's offensive, you don't know if it's homophobic, you don't know if it's racist, you don't know... <laughs> If it's misogynistic, you just don't know. That's fantastic. Fucking cord plugger. I love that. I know. Cord plugger. Cord plugger. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's delicious. All right. I guess we can continue on. Yeah. Let's get to know each other. Ugh. Or slut. <laughs> Not since I was 16. That's so young. Stop it. <laughs> that was so... Well, I mean, how long have we known each other? Like 15, 16 years, right? Oh, Yes. Again, we, or I guess not again. <laughs> we've done the math before. Yeah, I guess again. Yeah, I guess again. Um, we've done the math before. Math hurts my brain. I don't know how. Um, and I think you are correct in 15, because I thought it was 17. Maybe. Well, you know, because you were, did you move out at 17? 
Because I was 20 when I met you because I was 20 going on 21. Because I remember I was really excited because I was able to buy booze. Like, we were friends before and then I was able to buy booze and we parted at your, your apartment. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. With the dildo. Yes. But not with each other. Are you sure? I don't remember. I drank a lot back then. <gasps> Speaking of drinking, do you remember your first zombie? No, obviously I do not. I remember your <laughs> well, you first are, zombie. Uh, no. You might as well tell the story because I obviously cannot. Because I don't remember a fucking thing. We just got you drunk as fuck. Oh. We took you to the gay club. You danced like a million. <laughs> and forever. And then we uh, made sweet, sweet love, all seven of us. I only remember three, but then again, a zombie is a zombie. Uh, I've never ever had that drink again. Did I ever tell you that? I've never. That is like the date rape drink. Like drink. I'm gonna tell you, no, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm an alcoholic and I can handle my booze. <laughs> that knocked me on my ass. Yeah, it really did. I think we. I think you made it into the house fine. But once you were on the couch, you were done. You were dead. I woke up topless. Why did I wake up topless? Uh, that's all you, boo boo. Okay, that well, is all... that's one of the mysteries of the world that we will never solve. It, yeah. Uh, so, we had questions, or we asked the question on social media. So, we ask we ask questions on our social media you. accounts from our you know friends and family to answer to ask us because we said you were working on a project, which obviously is going to be this podcast. Um, so, to those of you that answered our que- that gave us questions to answer, we love you. Can we address how uh, I don't have friends? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> sent me questions. Oh, okay, I lied. They're so easy to read. Like, there's nothing, like, about... Well, no, that's not true. True. But you're, like, you're the only one who sent me a question. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. That was a good question. And I was... I told you this in the beginning. I was like, look, bitch. I am popular enough for this. I ain't gonna get no questions. Did your like, boyfriend send you a question? No, he didn't. Oh, you really are in love. I know. <laughs> it's sad. That's okay. But that's I'm okay. okay with that. We got it on the internet. That's what the internet's for. God damn it. Go, Google. What, what, what question Anyways, did I ask you? Your question... That you asked was we'll do it that way. Uh, when did you first realize or admit to yourself that you were gay? Hmm. Ooh, that's a good question. So uh, it's, a, it's kind of long. Well, I guess it doesn't have to be that long. Yours are kind of long. Well, do you want me to answer first? Or you want to answer first? I I don't care at this point. <laughs> okay. So okay. So uh, I didn't realize I was gay or admit to myself that I was gay until I was in middle school. Uh, that's because I didn't really know what gay was until I was in middle school. So, in the family I grew up, it was a, I had a decent childhood. It was a good childhood. We had fun, whatever. Um, but it was a religious family that I lived in, especially my dad. So, I didn't know what gay was because it was something we didn't talk about. I knew it was an insult. Uh, but I thought it was like getting something like scabies or like to <laughs> or, you know, I thought it was something you just caught. I didn't think it was something you were born with. Mama, so, I caught the gay. <laughs> it won't come off. <laughs> yeah. No, no, because my mommy's Mexican, so it would be Joto. Oh my god. Joto <gasps> banger! Okay, wait, 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 wait. Can we address this real quick? We can address the, whatever you since want. Since you brought up Joto. So, how do you spell Joto? I spell it J O T O. Okay. Well, in Pokemon, uh, <laughs> gaming nerd, there is the Johto League, <laughs> which to me it's is spelled whole- like Joto. <laughs> So, when I saw that, I was like, excuse me? You were, in the Hoto League? You were looking for a membership, weren't you? I kind of was. Maybe that's why I play Pokemon. Maybe. You're going to find the Hoto League. Pokemon. Pokemon? Pokemon. There's a Pokemon porn parody. I know. I've seen it. Just, I've seen two of them. I've seen one. It was, there's one off of Pokemon Go where he's like, there's a Pikachu in your backyard. Oh, is I that need the, to catch it. Is that the muscly one? The muscly Pikachu? No, oh. no, this That's is just like the dude was playing Pokemon Go and he's like, I need to get into your backyard. And he's like, no, it's my Pikachu. And then they pump. <laughs> well, <laughs> so there was just two of them. Mine had three. Oh. <laughs> Mine well, had the Pikachu. Yeah, that was, the, that was the second one I watched. It was like, it was like Ash, Pikachu and like Brock or something. Something like that or some like random like person he was with. And that's nasty. It was, it was, I laughed, I, 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 it's hard for me to find porn erotic anymore, because it's just so funny. Um, what were we talking about? Oh, when we admitted we were gay. Oh, okay, so I didn't know what gay was, and so I get to middle school, and by middle school, you know, insults become a lot more, um, well thought out. So I kind of knew the logistics of what the word meant, but I still didn't know too much. Um, 
And then I walked into this journalism class I was taking, and there was this boy, and he was a Hispanic boy, but he had like light skin, and he had blonde hair, which I thought was weird. And it was naturally occurring blonde hair. So he's a real like Spaniard, Spanish yeah, guy. Yeah, except he liked to dress like a little thug, like a little like total. So I, and I looked at him, I was like, and at the time I was like, I didn't know what, I, I just liked looking at him, I didn't know why, because <laughs> I, I honestly think I went to puberty really late. Pity. Pity. But now I know he was like gorgeous to me. Anyway, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not completely naive. I started putting two and two together. So I was in middle, in middle school, it was the early night, really to mid nineties. I'm not going to say exactly when, <laughs> but the You're old. I hate you. I love you. <laughs> I was like a, one of those good, like goody two-shoes trusted students. So I was able to have like free periods by myself to look on the internet. And so I looked up the word gay. You use the school computer to look up porn? No. N- well, it's no. A- <laughs> anyway, no, no. Because back then, okay, so back then if you searched the word gay, it didn't automatically take you to, you know, a pornography site. So, you know, I was there, I was reading some articles and there was some shirt lips mins, but it was fine. But then I just, I I read all that and I kind of just sat there and I was like, you know, okay, I have a word for it now. I am gay. And that changed quite a a completely different life kind of came out of that vagina right there. And it was just, I'm happy with it. (laughs) You became the fabulous queen you are today. Yeah, I was actually gay in high school. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> I love it. I would I, love to see that. Oh, I'm sure there's video out there. I know there's pictures. So I have a story before I answer mine, my or this question. One time we were using the school library computers, <laughs> and I was checking my email, and it was in high school, junior, senior year, and I got an email from gay.com because, you know, I was gay, so I had to be on gay.com to oh, talk I with all the gay. other gay com. guys. Yeah. Oh, so you could chat. Yeah, well, the school computers caught that. Thankfully, they did not attach my name to it. Unfortunately, they attached my friend Anita's name to it. I guess we should probably bleep that name out. Uh, Oh my god, did you get Love Simon? No, 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 no. What happened, what had happened is, is is the school ended up calling her mom, (gasps) who was a lesbian. Um, (laughs) It was like, your child was reading an email from gay.com, like, that's absurd, and she's not allowed to use any of our school computers, and it turned into this, not this big O thing, but her mom went on a little rampage, but yeah, Anita wasn't able to use the computers after that. And That's saved, so stupid, though. Like, mm, it wasn't even pornography. It really wasn't, but it saved me having to be outed to my dad by the school, which was fantastic. Well, the fuck the school then for doing that, though. Yeah, a yeah, little bit, a little bit. Like, I'm, yeah. So, okay, for me, I admitted to myself in middle school, um, should I just make this a short story? However you want to. <laughs> Once upon a time. Ooh, I like stories. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time in 1912 when I was born, I knew I was gay. And then I had a butterscotch. No. Um, okay, so as a kid, I always knew something was different. I always knew something was not, I don't want to say not right. Or, because it's not bad. Different. It just, yeah, something was different. Different than um, what you were used to. Yeah. I mean, for instance, as a kid, my favorite movie, and I know this has nothing to do with it, let kids like whatever they want. But for me, these were some of the... The, the signs that would tell is my favorite movie was The Little Mermaid. Oh, mine too. <laughs> Eric was hot. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> He's a prince. <laughs> um, but, yeah, like, I really loved that movie. And I loved it so much. <laughs> As a kid, I, I wanted to rewrite the whole movie and then be able to read it whenever I wanted because apparently I didn't know about books back then. <laughs> <laughs> So I sat in front of the TV trying to rewrite, like, the whole thing. It didn't work. (laughs) I mean... I don't think I've ever heard you tell me this story. Well, it's because, I mean, I still like to keep my secrets, and I have a feeling that a lot of them are going to come out on this. Yay! Secrets! No! Yay! This truck is starting to piss me off. Yeah, me too. (laughs) It smells. We're just going to turn here. That's the fart smell. Yeah, that's the fart smell. It's not me. It's the truck. In your ass. Um, Oh, yeah. So, and then I always kind (laughs) of knew something was different. Uh, And then in middle schools, when I started, you know, being more attractive to boys, I had a girlfriend. 
And we had only kissed because I am a good Jehovah's Witness and we don't do things like <laughs> sex or Halloween or Christmas. With the religion episode. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, so then I was dating this girl, Teresa, and she was amazing. She was so cute. Um, but one day I decided to finally just admit to myself I was gay. So I had to obviously call her and let her know that I was gay and I couldn't be her boyfriend. <laughs> So how did that go? <laughs> that was a little. I, it honestly went like this: like, hello, hi, yeah, I've got something to tell you. I like boys, and I think I'm gay. And I mean, kid, she was really cool. It it, it didn't matter. We're still friends. Uh, she's still one of my friends. Uh, yeah. So that's that's when I realized, or whatever. Does she know you will engraced her? Oh my god, I did. Uh-huh. Except it wasn't called... Oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> uh, I, I don't want to be Will. I want to be Karen. My boobs are big enough. Yeah, but you don't have the liver like I do. Oh, that's true. You could be... You can't be Jack. Oh, no, you could be Jack. I could be Jack and Karen. Oh, like it should I'm be. I'm Will and Grace? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> uh, I have a sexless marriage with myself? Oh. We'll talk about sexless marriages when we talk about <laughs> <laughs> When we talk about our families. No, I'm just Yay. kidding. I have no idea if my parents have sex and I don't care. I don't think I'd ever want to know. I don't I don't care. I'm not one of those that can picture it, so it's fine. Ew. Like I don't even like picturing like regular sex. Ew. So um, Oh questions. So yes. okay. uh, that I was think... kind of a cute story. You oh, made a friend. I mean Kids are not evil until people make them evil. Um, I do know... I don't know. Awkward silence? Oh, that's our life. That's our relationship. Oh, here's the thing. Oh, yeah, like the So, thing. here's the question. That's from Misty. This is from Misty. Hi, Misty. Hi, Misty. Um, what's the meanest thing you have done to someone in... Someone in a... Let me try that again. What's... Didn't I have... Ugh, okay. What do? <laughs> What's the meanest thing you have done to someone and not felt bad about it oh, later? I think, I think that has to be like a whole other podcast for me because I don't feel bad. Um, so let's talk to somebody at work about this. I am petty. I am spiteful. And I am vindictive. So if you if you piss me off and I do something to you to get back at you, I'm not going to feel bad. Um, but I guess the one thing I can say is uh, that will get me in jail is I let the air out of all the tires of an exit bike. <laughs> Like, just, play, like, he was asleep, and I was, shh, and I left. It was great. That's a gorgeous story. Isn't it? Warms my heart. Aww. <laughs> okay, so, I do have a story. Okay. Um, when my brother and my sister-in-law got divorced, I kept hanging around my sister-in-law, because, number one, she wasn't a druggie, and number two, I loved her, or I love her. Um... And uh, we got drunk one night and decided to put sugar in his gas tank. <laughs> uh, but, 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 okay, Work. so, like, this was all because, like, he's on drugs. And he was, like, trying to talk bad about me, or bad about my sister-in-law to me, while I was sitting with her in the same room. Like, he was like, oh, she just says you're a fag, and you're a bu- an abomination, and you shouldn't be allowed to live, and me and my sister-in-law are sitting in the living room like, where the fuck, what? Like, what is going on? Um, so we ended up getting really, really drunk, and we put sugar in his gas tank. I miss uh, drunk Lucio. Well, I mean, I can't do it anymore. I'll cry. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I mean... That's another, ooh, that's another story for another day. That's a good story. <laughs> the drunk episode, which from actually this point on will probably be me every episode. Mm. Anyway, I'm sorry, finish your story. No, that's it. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, and then the next day, I woke up to a shit ton of texts from my brother like, You tell that fucking bitch I know what she did, and I'm going to sue her, and I'm going to call the cops, and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, what, wait, what? <laughs> like, not knowing what I did, but I did know what I did. <laughs> or pretending. Yeah, that's my story. I don't feel bad about it. Why does your it's phone a, keep blocking? Because I'm a secure person. Ugh. There you go. I hate you. Don't hate me. Hit the play. Hit, don't hit the play. Hit the game. Oh, I got a burp. Ugh. Ooh. What did that take? Taco, Taco Bell? Bell. Mm. That Frito, that beefy Frito burrito thing is like... That's a dollar. 
<laughs> it's a dollar. It's a dollar. It's one dollar. And it was so Got amazing. It's a Melrose fish. It's, it's gorgeous. The fuck? Is there still a Melrose? Yeah. <sighs> like, I would really wear anything from Judy's. <laughs> Name that movie. I don't know. Uh, you know I'm bad with quotes. You're a bad gay. I know. It's clueless. I don't know that. It's what Amber, Amber, Amber tells Cher at the party, at the oh. Val party. Like, I would wear anything from Judy's. I just remember, you're a virgin who can't drive. <laughs> that was like, That's the best line. I just remember being there and be like, yes, bitch, I am a virgin who can't drive. I'm learning. There were like 15 in that movie. Do you realize that? You're old. No, oh. no, not the actors. <laughs> oh, okay. The characters were only like 15 in that movie. Oh, yes, yes. yes. And they're over there like drugs and fucking and everything else. I was like, 15? I was still watching Power Rangers. Yeah, so was I, 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 but there was other kids doing drugs and shit. We grew up in the ghetto. My baby brother. My little brother. My baby brother was just always into like sports and stuff. <laughs> oh, I burped. What? what did that taste like? Mountain Dew. Baja Blast. Ooh. Okay, question time. Um, I guess this one would go along because we've been friends for so long. Okay. I gotta burp again. Then do it! I can't. It's like stuck there. Yeah. I'm gonna make my... Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, <laughs> what do you value most in a friendship? Alibis. <laughs> I burped again. <laughs> Is that burp? Hold on. But, you know, that's a, that's a good thing because, bitch, you gotta be able to hide that body. Very true. Very true. Um, I think... It, so... I think... People that can just handle me. Like, I have a very particular sense of humor, and I'm... as the, the older I get, I don't have a filter. So, like, my sense of humor is a bit crass. Like, I just don't care if I offend you. I really don't. So, someone that can, like, roll with me and, like, roll with my punches, because I punch a lot. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I'm violent. What can I say? I'm not really violent, but I'm violent. But I'm slowly getting you to stop punching me by going, Yeah. <laughs> And that's the reaction I love. <laughs> but yeah, basically just someone that can hang with me. Like, just don't be offended by anything. And don't be, like, don't want to change any part of me because it ain't going to happen. No, ain't nobody got time for that. Exactly. Um, I'm actually the same-ish. Um, I do like friends that can deal with me just wanting to be alone um, because I'm not a very social person. I like to be by myself. Um, and I like to stay home. I need people who can come to me, come to my safe space. Um, I also need people who can deal with my weirdness. <laughs> I got that. Because Judy, I'm rock, paper, fucked up. Yeah, you on are. On so many levels. Oh. Um, and like you, I'm, I don't know, I don't know if I'm crass, I'm dirty. You're dirty. You're like the dirty old grandma. <laughs> I'm the dirty old grandma. Come sit. We'll have some tea and talk about some mints. You're the one who, like, pulls your dentures up before you start the blowjob. Oh, well, you have to. <laughs> I like the little teeth. Ooh, no. Ooh, we almost died. <laughs> I was going to move it to the other I lane, know, and I didn't. but there's death in the other That's lane. That's why I didn't move. Good job. Yay, me. Yeah, so friends who just allow me to be me, understand that I'm not going to go out with you every single day. Also, because I'm poor. Yeah. Huh. Well, I like that. Let me get you some more questions. What are we doing from like, here, here we go, because you, you gave me that big old text message with your message. Oh yeah, I forgot about those. We love you, Google! Taco Bell, if you want to like sponsor us too. Oh, I know you. Yeah. I know you sent Jeffree Star free shit, but so was not it to me. I guess oh. that'd be great. Go ahead. Here we go, because you're like the fashionista of the group. <laughs> um, what's the most embarrassing thing you've ever worn? Well, okay, so that's a weird question because I don't, I don't think I've ever been embarrassed by anything I wear because I, anything I, I purposely choose what I put on my body. Can I be mean to you? But why are you asking permission? Well, I don't know. Like, what if I want to portray me. myself as like a good Jehovah's Witness? Well, the dicks in your mouth say otherwise. But go ahead. Oh, um, <laughs> I forgot my insult. <laughs> so can continue. Oh, bitch! Have you seen what you're wearing today? <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> I, at least I don't dress like a 12-year-old boy. Uh, a 15-year-old boy with my Pikachu shirt. No, Thank the 15-year-old boy is your boyfriend. Oh, but he's not 15. He's I like know. 25. I know. He's Fish older. six. I thought he was like 25. He's eight years old. Well, he's like he's like Ben, my husband Ben. Oh, they're yeah. like eternally young. 
eternally. Isn't that a song? Forever young. Yeah, see? Yeah, something like that. Anyways. But yeah, anyway, they look like they're in fucking high school. And we I don't look, like that part. And we look like we're the high school gym coaches. Yeah. yeah <laughs> but I like mean, the lesbian ones. Well, I mean, I don't know about an shirt. He does. Yeah, but I could step a one on you when you die. I mean, that's what you're going to have to do. Because, <laughs> bitch, you ain't going to find one in my quad. My, my closet. In your closet. In my closet. In your closet. No, 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 I'm shut from my closet. <laughs> um, the question was. Oh, most embarrassing thing I've ever worn. Yes. Uh, so I'm not, not technically embarrassed by anything I wear, but so uh, there was a point where I didn't have a car, so I was taking the bus to work every day, and it was early. I mean, I had to be there. The sun was still down when I had to get in the, in the bus. So I rode the bus, blah, 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 get to work, and I realized that I have two different shoes on. And so, like, like, like a dress shoe and a tennis shoe, like so. Okay, so I wear a high but, heel and a chunkla. <laughs> so I wear nothing but Skechers, okay. And all the Skechers soles feel the same. So when I put my shoes on, they all feel the same. True. And so walking, and, and I work. Okay, I can't tell you where I work, but it is a professional setting. He's a fancy bitch. A very fancy bitch. I work. I work in. A, I work in a professional setting. And I have to walk around with two different shoes all day because I take the bus to work and I can't go home and change. Because it would literally take me like four hours. I love that. So, what about you? I mean, besides, you know, the every day. You, yeah, I was like, you should be embarrassed okay. by most the things you wear. Here you go. This is the greatest story ever. Yay. In high school, I didn't know what I was, who I was, where I was going. Or where is this going to be like a Ramona Forever type thing? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Continue then. Okay. Uh, so, me and my dad went uh, clothes shopping for school. I think it was sophomore sophomore. sophomore. You sophomore cannot talk. Year. I know. I told you that when we started this. I love it. Me too. Yeah, continue. Um, we went shopping for school clothes at uh, the mall. Not the buckle. Shit, I still can't remember the name. <laughs> Anchor Blue? Thank you. Uh, oh, look, there's a fucking bank that we were looking for earlier. Hey, George, you want to make a turn there? There's a bank. Oh, whatever. Anyways, so I didn't know, like, my style. I didn't know what I wanted to dress like. Anyways, so we go to Anchor Blue, and this really enthusiastic, like, cool teenager hip guy was like, ah, oh, man, all of these are the latest trends. And I used to comb my hair back. So I guess he thought I was a little cholo. <laughs> so I come home with these baggy ass white Jenko jeans <laughs> and a button up flannel like, <laughs> like, like, like Ben Davis, mi vida loca <laughs> fucking t-shirt, button up shirt <laughs> with my hair combed back. <laughs> And so I like I had to test this out with my friends. Like I had to see what they thought, and it didn't. I know it didn't go well. They didn't make me cry. I know they wanted to make me cry because I looked horrible. I looked. I can see this. Have you ever seen Blood In Blood Out? Unfortunately. Just think of me looking like a really bad Miklo. <laughs> I can see that. I've seen pictures of you in your youth. Ugh, that's I know. Scary. You, you look like a little homeboy. Ugh. I don't think anyway, I ever went through that phase. So that was the most embarrassing thing. Like, after that, we took the clothes back. We went to, like, fucking Kmart, and I got, like, Wranglers and, like, an Aussie t-shirt, and, yeah, that became my style. You kind of never really changed it, except no. instead of, like, band tees, you wear, like, nerd band, tees. Band te- oh, band tees. Band tees. I thought you were trying to say, like, man tees, and I was like, <laughs> what? Are they crotchless? <laughs> I mean, sometimes. What? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, I, I picture you the kind of guy that doesn't, rep- you know, replace his underwear very often, so I think they just naturally become crushed with all the wear and tear. I actually do. <laughs> uh, what is the sexiest and least sexiest name? Do you want to do male and female, or just male? Uh, oh, I guess we could try, but I like to, you know, I'm, I'm not I'm not gender biased like you are, so... <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. I'm just kidding. Mm. Uh, what is, like, like person's name? Or, like... Uh, what is the sexiest and least... Se- yeah. Sexiest... Just, like, name. What is the sexiest and least sexiest name? Um, the sexiest name for a man would have to be... Vernon? No, okay, so, and people at work are going to laugh at me at this oh, because shit. there's somebody actually that works at its name. Ah. This. But the name Micah has always been so hot to me. Do you remember watching Paranormal Activity, the first one? Yes. Micah Sloan, it was yes. the boyfriend. Yeah, the one yeah. who kept fucking pestering all the ghosts? Yeah, 
him. He's so sexy. So the Micah to me is the sexiest male name. Uh, least sexiest male name would have to be Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I picture a serial, like a serial killer, like from like Backwoods, Alabama or something like that. <laughs> Don't get mad at me. I'm not mad. I dated a Trevor. I never met that Trevor, so I don't know if he was attractive or not. He kind of did look serial killer-y. <laughs> well, then there you go. Um, do I answer female too? Sure. Uh, sexiest female name is uh, Sarah. Ew. I know. It's actually not that sexy. No. It's just my favorite female name. Ew. But my okay, so the sexiest oh. female name I ever heard and is also the least sexiest female name I ever heard that it's both is champagne. Bitch, that's a drink. <laughs> exactly. No! Ooh! Even better, Alize. I know somebody that named their kid Alize. Actually, so do I. So that right there is the least sexiest name for sure. Cool. Alize. Alright. So here's mine. The sexiest name for a guy. I really like Xander. Oh, that's a hot one. Yes. Yes. I think Buffy and he was hot. Yes! Nicholas Brendan back in the 90s. And yes! Was, yes. I love that name. Uh, least sexiest would have... <laughs> Am I gonna slap you? Or are you gonna get no. back at me? Because you know I'm petty. <laughs> I'm a fucking petty bitch. All I can think now is Trevor. <laughs> Well, you have experience with the trainer. I do. He was a nice person. So, yeah, let's just go with Trevor. Okay. Uh, Sorry, Trevor. <laughs> we're really not. To any Trevor out there. Uh, maybe. You're not sexy. Uh, it's still fucking dope. I was single. Oh, bitch. <laughs> you just broke my coccyx. <laughs> For those of you that don't know what that is, it's exactly what it sounds like. <laughs> um, okay, female names. Uh, least sexiest female name, Nevea. Because, oh, bitch, yeah. how are you going to name your child heaven backwards? <laughs> what? <laughs> Nevea. You know what? I think of when someone says the name Nevea is like the face creams. Ooh, or Janelle. <laughs> I don't like Janelle. That's not a good oof. What's the most, what's the sexiest female name? You know what? And this might be because I have a little bit of a straight crush on my old, like, high school best friend, Nadine. Aww, I met her. She's sweet. I like her, and she's right. super cute. She is very cute. Nadine's Have you seen her son? You've shown me pictures. Oh, He's very yes. adorable. Anyways. But she's super cute. So she yeah. is. We love the Nadines. We stand Nadine. What, what does that girl? mean? I don't know, but I'm going to use it. Because I'm going to pretend I'm in my 20s. Okay. <laughs> Which I'm not. It's going to take a lot of imagination. <sighs> That's why it's drink. I remember a question. Okay. What's your favorite kind of cheese? Ooh, so I like skanky cheeses. Ugh. So like the more aged, no. the better. No. I love blue cheese is my uh, favorite. Uh, mm, I love like blue cheese and feta and no. all them like stinky cheeses that have like the mold in them. The ones that smell like feet? Yes! But surprisingly I don't have a foot fetish. That's nasty. That's delicious. <gasps> what? Okay, I won't say any names, but you said foot fetish and it reminded me of a story. Oh, <laughs> story time. Once upon a time when I was in no, I wasn't in school. This was after. I, this is when I knew you. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh shit! I think you might have been there. We were all drinking. I don't know who it was. Maybe you were there. Maybe you weren't. Anyways, I just got off a long shift at work, and I was wearing like yes, I remember. Shoes. I remember. Yeah, that motherfucker sucked my toes. <laughs> after I had been on like a nine-hour shift in steel toes with the wrong kind of socks, so my feet were sweaty as fuck. Uh, That's nasty. Uh, I mean, I'm not. I don't mind if I like sucking toes. That's cool, whatever. But wash the feet. I want to know if you got, like, athlete's mouth. <laughs> or what is that, thrush? Is it thrush? I thought it was, like, like ick, like the fish get. Oh, maybe. Aw. Didn't Spongebob have ick? Did he? I don't watch Spongebob. I'm going to admit it to you now. Like, I can watch it, but I prefer, like, the movies because they're more adult. No, the movies are horrible. Oh, I'm going to make a man out of you? Come on, Princess Mindy. Ugh, fine. It was so sexual. Come on, Goofy Goober at the end when you got like Patrick dressing up in stiletto heels and okay. die high fishnets. All right. I lived for that. Okay. I I lived. But Patrick made the show. I'm just gonna say that he right did. now. He did. I I am a Patrick Starfish fan. Um. Okay. So my favorite cheese is a nice. I'm not fancy. No. I'm you're a not. I'm fucking. I'm basic. Straight up, just basic. Basic house. So I like and enjoy a really good sharp cheddar. Ooh. 
I like sharp cheddar. And now Albertsons, they have an amazing sharp white cheddar that I would just drill. It it goes on anything. You could put it on your fucking cornflakes. <laughs> yeah. You think I'm joking? Well, have you ever had like? I know I love sharp cheeses. Ben doesn't like sharp cheeses. So I, when I buy cheddar for like the both of us to share, I had to buy like the mild and the medium. I always buy me like a little block of sharp milk. It's so sick. Yeah, it's okay. He doesn't like pickles either. Yeah, it's neither do I. More than you're an asshole. Yeah. Um, have you ever had like a sharp cheddar from like uh, Ireland? No. Bitch. I'm not fancy. Bitch. I'll have to buy you some. We'll have a food episode one day. And then we'll just eat on air and like, you know, do like the ASMR. But, but we eat like nasty. Can we? <laughs> like flat sitting together. I can do that. Yeah. Because you, you know can. how I like to do that to annoy the fuck out of you anyway. Yeah, I do. Yeah, especially uh, if I'm like chewing gum. That's why we don't have gum. <laughs> There's no gum Bitch, in this I car. I find some in this I, car. There was no gum in this car. Don't think that. Anyway, jeez. You gotta unlock your phone again. I don't like your phone. Why? Because it locks. Ugh. And I can't unlock it with my finger. There. I can tell you the code, but I, I'd have to edit it out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where we're driving, by the way. We're just well, kind of randomly fine. going fine. everywhere. But Albuquerque is not that difficult to navigate, so. No, because you're always in the same spot. Yeah, in basically. Different places. Well, I guess I know where we're at. We don't have to tell where Albuquerque is, though, but. This one's kind of fun. Okay. In one sentence, how would you sum up the internet? Dick pics. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious dick pics. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and feed off of that and say, nest. <laughs> well, okay, so, like. Really? I mean, I know the internet can be used for a lot of stuff, but let's, like, really be, let's but be it's, honest. it's nasty. Like, how, I mean, when you knew you could find porn on the internet, did you not look for porn? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And that was, like, last Tuesday. For me. Pretty sure but, I have, like, a whole drive of porn. Not really, but I do. I don't save them anymore. I don't really either, because like, it's all online. Well, and the thing is, and I mean, it's fun to watch, because I, like, and I said this earlier with the Pokemon thing, I find pornography very hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> like the like like the dialogue. If it doesn't have dialogue, I won't watch it. I will not watch it if it does not have dialogue. <laughs> sorry, anyone. Sorry, mom. Sorry, dad. <laughs> so wait, sorry, you've seen that. the you've seen the not in front of my salad one then? Yes, I lived for that bitch. And you know they have like an in yes. Okay. Yes, I love her. I love I love her. That's the shitty part. Like it, as far as like all that gay sex wit, I loved her. And she her, made the movie. She made the movie. Um, like, I watched, like, I don't know, there's just, like, a bunch of parodies out Shall there. Shall we do a porn episode? <gasps> yes! Oh, my God, can we have special guests? Like, can we send out, like, emails to, like, porn stars that we like? Yeah. Oh, my God! Speaking of porn stars, I gotta tell you this story, and, and I'm sorry again for... <laughs> I'm just sorry. Are you sure you shouldn't save it? <laughs> nope. uh, yeah, right. No, we can save it for the porn episode. It doesn't matter. Well, okay, okay, I'm gonna give you the, the gist of it, but I... Had sex with somebody who became a porn star later in life. Aww. And he's like, kind of not famous right now, but kind of you can Do find him. Do you think him. you broke him? No, I. I he made like you know. No, no, because he was good even then. So. Yeah, but like you broke his spirit because that's the kind of person you are. So now he does porn, be, and you're the reason. I why. think this should be something he should be proud of. Like if I like if I look like that and I felt comfortable enough doing that on uh -oh. camera. I would totally. I, I I admire porn stars. I don't believe in the whole. My daddy molested me. I'm gonna go have sex on camera. At least not in the gay community. With the gay community, these have you seen these men, the yeah, shit they had to put their bodies through just to be able to look at it to be on camera. Yeah, I don't think I could do that. But but the thing is, I don't think it's a daddy issue. I don't think it's a molest. I don't think. I think it's a profession. It's just they like sex. Yeah, it's a profession. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, exactly. Sex positive. It's a profession. And it's one that I think is underestimated because they got some money. Like, we, like, like, that's what we're like. Penis. Whole... Moving on now. <laughs> <laughs> I had to. <clears throat> you control the questions, Hor. Oh, yeah. Um, what are you not very good at? Uh, appreciating myself. Oh. Or that... hockey. <laughs> there it is. Uh, that's really it. I mean, if I... <laughs> So, I mean, I guess my biggest thing is I don't really think highly of myself a lot of the time. Oh, but you should. Yeah, but I don't. That's, I know. that's the whole thing with that. But what I will say is I, I try not to be bad at the things I do do. <laughs> you said do-do. Do-do! <clears throat> um, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, literally shit. 
Um, oh my god! Like, okay, like, that's a story for another time. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, me, I'm not good at showing emotion towards others. So, like, people will say, I love you, and I'm like, no, you don't. Or I go, oh my god, thank you. I love me too. We have so much in common. I don't think I tell you that, right? No, we're not, we're not that kind. Okay. It says I don't believe in that word. I mean, it's a weird word. Like, I, I, be, no, I believe you love somebody, but I just don't like, I don't know. I think there's just so much, so many rules to falling in love or being in love or loving something. It's like, eh, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, whatever. <laughs> Like, I, I, I know, like, I say to Ben, I love you, and I say to my family, I love you. And I think my other problem is that I'm not good at it is saying it enough. But I don't think you have to say it all the time. You shouldn't have to say it all the time. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Like, it's... It, I mean, if I've shown you, and I continue to show you, that should be good enough. But yeah, if you have to call into question me loving you, does that really mean you don't love me? Yeah, exactly. And, yeah, yeah. That just seems like work. Yeah. I am emotionally lazy, and I like to remain that way. Yeah. Same. I love how gay this is. Like, my, 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 I can tell already my voice has high-pitched itself. <laughs> it really has. So, I'm going to sound extremely gay on this, and I, I like love how it. I'm the calm one. Well, that's like in life, though. That like, is true. I am you? super exaggerated. So, oh, <laughs> you're the reason why I get started. <laughs> You're probably I'm, the reason our, our significant others don't like hanging out with us when we're together. Well, I don't think it's that they don't like hanging out with us. They're I just embarrassed? I just, no. I would be embarrassed. Oh, why? We're fantastic. Well, we're fantastic together, but, like, I, I, I don't know. No, I, I guess I, would, I could see from the outside. <laughs> we're, we're scary from the outside. Anyway, sorry, I'm interrupting you. No, that's fine. <clears throat> um, here's a good one, a fun little thing. What would be the creepiest thing you could say while passing a stranger on the street? <laughs> the shampoo's not working. No. <laughs> come on, come That's, on. Okay, no. It, but you don't know what kind of shampoo I'm talking about. I could be, be talking about Pantene, mm. or I could be talking about Rit, or whatever like the herpes one is. See, but that's more like, like if I was on the street and you whispered that past or said that past me, you I'd be like, on, ooh, nasty. <laughs> no, that'd be nasty. Like, I'd take four steps away from you. It's pretty creepy, right? Well, I guess. Well, what about you? <laughs> okay. I'd pass somebody, and it'd be like, I'd, I'd kind of get close to them, and I'd be like, he's not done with you yet. <laughs> or something creepy like that. That sounds like something like, like, like one of them, like, door-to-door Christians would tell yeah, you. Yeah, or like, or like, he knows. <laughs> and then just like, I don't know, fucking ninja away after that. Just see. Oh my god, I thought that was the Ghostbusters vehicle. It was. Yeah, I made not. it. It's got, is that an American flag? Ooh, do we got some Trumpers? Ooh, America! America! We are also not Trump supporters. Yeah. So, do whatever you want with that. I was not a big Hillary supporter, though. What are they going to do? Put it on a plate and eat it? Mmm, like a good butthole. <laughs> 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 um, anyway... I didn't ask your questions. I feel like I should... Should we go back to the butthole? It should be like a donut hole. That's like that... Like you can't see it on the podcast, but that's like bigger than a quarter. Like That's like air going through. It's like an air pump. Well, I mean, when you're done eating it... It should still stay its nice small size. Not if you put your head in there. Like, which head are we talking about? I have no idea what's <laughs> happening right now. <laughs> okay, the sex episode. <laughs> Ugh, I hate your phone. <laughs> But it's so cute! I just used my fingertip. Ooh, here's one. Okay, I know we're both not religious. Okay. But here's a fun question. If heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? Work, queen, work! (laughs) Or slay! That's what I want God to say. Can, Can I tell you what I would like him to say? Um... I overhear him say to you. What would you like to hear? No. <laughs> You're a cunt. <laughs> Why do you have to take away my joy? I mean, he could do it. Uh, fine. No. <laughs> Queen. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> and what do you think you're going to hear? <laughs> the same? Probably, but it'll be like, did you really do that? That's nasty. <laughs> no. Ah, uh, you bitch. Probably something like that. 
No, I don't know. Uh, I have question ideas yeah. but while you're answering yours. So one of those. Did that, we already do? Oh. I don't know if we did one of those. Because that's from my friend from like high school. Look, this one could be like a, a TV, like... Like a TV moment? Yeah. Like fucking Full, Full House. house. <laughs> Jinx, you owe me a Coke. Uh, <laughs> what's so some thirsty. of the best advice you've ever gotten? Here, do you want some of my death in a cup? No, because that's going to make my diabetes kill me. Okay, do you want some of my other I have my water. Oh, okay. no, I have my water. Uh, best advice I've gotten? Uh, yes, what's some of the best advice you've ever gotten? Uh, when in doubt, take cash only. Like, like for a hooker job? <laughs> so. Well, I, I mean. Well, okay, let me, let me elaborate, because I guess this is advice my dad gave me. So, he Aww. used to have this little, um, like, I don't know, like one of those little quilted sayings, like on the wall. Credit makes enemies, let's stay friends. And so I asked about that because I didn't know what it meant. And he's like, well, you know, if you don't know the person, you shouldn't take a, a check from them because you don't know if they're going to pay you. So whenever you don't know somebody, just take cash instead. So that's my life, cash only. Aww. That's the best advice I ever heard. I guess it's, it's cute. Okay, now mine's the TV moment. Okay. Okay, AJ. AJ? TJ, full house. No, no, no. We know I'm the Stephanie. Nobody After pays attention drugs. to me. After the drugs. Before the drugs. All right. And you then it led so. to the drugs. <laughs> and then you got the and reboot. And then I got this advice. And then I got a reboot. Okay. Delicious. Um, so mine was from my stepmother. Or, ugh, no. Ooh, Satan. <laughs> oh, that's nasty. Um, adopted my, mother? Yes, my adopted mother. Um, and basically, really dark time. I won't go into too much. We'll do an episode on that, I guess. Let's make ourselves sad. Yay! Oh my god, and that one has to be a drinking one. <laughs> oh, it'll be fantastic. Um, so mine was uh, not going through a very good time in life. My step... Uh, god, why do I... What, do I Satan! <laughs> That's not, not just, even good for Just her. say your mother. Uh, my mother. We, we can get into that at another time, too. Yeah, okay. Uh, so my mother had me over for dinner. She sat me down, and she kind of gave me the, like, you need to live life for you. You are the only one living your life. Nobody else is living your life. You need to do what's best for you. Aww. Um, and it kind of helped me come out of that dark place in my life once I realized that I didn't have to be anything that I didn't want to be or that I couldn't be. That's cute. I like that. And we know I can't be much. Well, they don't know yet, but I do. <laughs> Oh. Expect lowered expectations. We can't do things together. No. Um, that's think you won. Yeah. I want to ask a question. Okay. What do you miss about being a kid? Not working. <laughs> you know what? I was going to say the same thing. I don't want to work anymore. I don't either. I'm tired. My, my only goal in life is to retire. Mine too. Like, once I'm done, I'm done, and then fuck you in the world. I'm old. I'm uh, going to break a hip. Can I break it for you? Sure. Yes. I have long-term disability. It'll be okay. <laughs> well, if you're not, if you're not working, you don't have it no more, then bitch. Wait until I go to work, and then we'll break my hip at work, and then work will long-term disability me. I wish I had another operation. Those were nice. I was off for six weeks. Yeah. I want to be off for six weeks. Oh. Have you ever any surgeries? Didn't we already do this one? Did we? I think we did. Oh. They didn't pay attention to you. I know. You never do. No, I Ugh. Any anyway. God, Grandma. Uh, what mythical creature would improve the world the most if it existed? I'm just going to go ahead and say a fucking griffin. I'm oh. going to say a unicorn. Aw. Yeah. Stab fucking people with the horn. Exactly, but look fabulous doing it. Yeah, well, a griffin would scratch your unicorn to death. I think they would be lovers. Ooh. Grifficorn? Grifficorn! Lady Ranicorn's a grifficorn, I think. <gasps> uh -huh. Ramathorn? Ooh, that's a poor name if I ever heard one. Well, that's from that movie. Ramathorn? Yes. That movie. And then they make a they make a team team ramrod. Super troopers. You <laughs> my, don't watch the same movies I do. Though. No, my my friend. Speaking of that, my friend's email address is manram. <laughs> that's fantastic. I'm like ah, it's great. Can we talk about how I used to be afraid to go to the one cashier at Smith's? <laughs> what? Don't you remember? No. She looked like the Selena killer. Oh. <laughs> Yolanda. Yeah. Oh my god. 
And I forgot about Yolanda. And you used to try to make me go to yes, Yolanda all the time. Yes, yes. So mean. Yes, I did. No. What, what was it, Yolanda Salvador or something like that? I don't Isn't remember. Is it just Salazar? Is it Salazar? I don't remember. <gasps> I love Selena. Speaking so. of Selena, we have a children's book about Selena. You can't see my face right now, but huh? Yeah, there's a children's book about Selena. Okay. I don't know what it says because it's in Spanish. <laughs> well, then I guess I'll have to read it now, won't I? Yeah, I'll buy it for you. <gasps> Christmas! That's not what I want for Christmas, though. Hi! Oh. Oh, is that an old lady and old man? Oh, she's yeah. getting the bus. Oh. Good for her. I was like, oh my god, did we just wait for her and she needs a ride? Here's a random question. Toilet okay. paper over or under? Over. Yeah, me too. Okay, good. We can stay friends. <laughs> <laughs> under is just wrong. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't. Just, then you have it, to pull it down and pull it away. Yeah. To rippy rip. It's just gross if you don't do it right. What are the what? I, never mind. Do you, would you rather? Yeah. Let's do one of those questions. Okay. I mean, I looked at them. I worked them. I worked hard to find those questions. Work queen, ya slay, bitch. I guess you're the closest thing I know to God since I don't believe. Uh, would you rather never use social media sites, apps, again, or never watch another movie or TV show? Never use social media. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, mm. I'm fine without it. Yeah. You take away any of my TV shows or my Animu, you're I'll gonna kill die. you. Who uh, Animu? That should be our next episode. This really isn't a question because it is me. Uh, <laughs> would you rather have a horrible short-term memory or a horrible long-term memory? I guess the answer for you is both. Uh, I have a shitty memory no matter what, so I'm not going to remember this. I'd rather... I'd rather have a shitty short-term memory. I have one of those. I know. That's my answer. <laughs> you just steal from me like you always do. Quit not trying yet. to be me. Why are you so obsessed with me? No one's obsessed with you. I'm obsessed with me. My oh. mom thinks I'm cool. Oh, I used to have a shirt that said that. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. You also have a t-shirt that says it's only gay when you swallow. Oh, that's one of my favorite t-shirts. <laughs> I think that's it. All these other questions just don't seem questiony huh? enough. Okay, well, I guess... I guess you got to know us a little more today. Um, how should we end this? Like... Oh, you know, just say bye and turn it off. We're done. I thought you wanted to end it with like a random question like we'll do every episode. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So, you know why I came up with that idea, right? It's because we were in the store. I don't know if you remember this. There was a stupid person in front of us. There's always a stupid person in front of us. I know. I want to kill them all. But, like, I could just imagine myself, like, just rampantly jumping towards them and beating the crap out of them. <laughs> so, my question to you is... How would you react? Stop it! My husband! Don't hurt him! Something like that. Like, I think I would be... <laughs> so you're not a very violent person to me. I don't think you... Like, you talk a lot of shit, but I've never seen you be violent. I'm a lover. <laughs> you're something. So I think instinctively, I would, like, freak out, and, like, my instinct would be to go to comedy first. Until I, you know, I start seeing the blood, and then I'd be like, okay, you gotta stop now, or we're gonna get arrested. <laughs> uh, okay, I can see that. I don't have to think of a random question now, huh? Yeah. I forgot what I was going to ask. Uh, um, paper or plastic? Ew, for what? Anything. Like to cover somebody's ugly ass head? Because you tell me about pillow talk. <laughs> Sex episode. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like in the grocery store. Like I like, like it sprouts. Because I always ask you paper or plastic. Bitch. We are Hispanic. You know we need those plastic bags to line our trash cans. That's true. My toilet. Plastic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like that. Well, thank you guys for dealing with us for this first episode. Um, we will have more coming in the future. So I guess for now, bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye.